Hey guys, welcome back to Ronald Architecture, and uh, it's been a while since since the last uh, video I uploaded, but we're back. And um, actually, the last topic was was about creating the walls, putting out the fenestration, and laying at the roof. And in today's video, um, we're going to to continue uh, by creating the floor and ceiling. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first let's go to level one floor plan. And um, our first thing to do is uh, we're gonna create the floor um, by clicking the floor icon under architecture tab. And um, by default, it's gonna highlight the pick wall icon. There's actually three ways to, to create a floor boundary. And uh, first we will discuss is uh, this pick wall. So how does this work? So basically, you just have to click the walls. You can uh, click the wall one at a time, or you can uh, drag your mouse to one of the walls and then uh, hit tab on your keyboard. So it will highlight all the perimeter walls and then click into it. So uh, basically, we create a boundary on the outside. However, uh, we don't want these boundaries to be located outside of the walls so just like in actual construction a floor and NASA inside of the walls so uh, we can upset these guys by hitting O spacebar on your keyboard that was uh, knowing now 150 mm yung thickness nung walls natin type in there 150 that was make sure na he uncheck itong copies para hindi na siya mag recreate recreate the lines so just uh, drag your mouse to one of the, the lines and then uh, hit tab on your keyboard that was click para nasa loob na siya ng walls then hit ok right so yung second naman the process is um, let's delete that first yung second naman is by clicking this line however it's gonna take a lot of time for you to trace all the exterior walls on the inside and then on the third way to create the line boundaries is by uh, set, uh, clicking this pick lines that was bidding you shang he drag yung uh, yung mouse ayan that was click nyo lang siya as ayun nga uh, you offset na naman natin siya that was for this one since nasa on center siya uh, we're gonna use 75 for that that was uh, make sure if you look closely my uh, hidden line siya so you have to make sure na yung hidden line ay nakalapat dun sa side na kung saan siya dapat upset for this one we're gonna upset it to the inside that was uh, zoom it out and then uh, hit tab on your keyboard Ta -da! and then hit ok so yun yung three ways to create your boundaries. So just use any of those ways that will work for you. So let's look into the 3D. So ayan siya. So basically, uh, my floor na tayo. Alright. So next thing to do is uh, let's go back to level 1. That was now we're going to create uh, our ceiling. So just click on the level one under ceiling plan that was um, now we can uh, start creating the ceiling boundaries by clicking ceiling icon that was we can use either automatic ceiling or sketch ceiling so if we use automatic ceiling it will automatically identify the rooms dun sa create and no ceiling so basically can you click ko lang yung rooms na yun at nagkaroon na siya ng ceiling so if we look into the 3d ayan na siya yung mga ceilings nila right and then um uh, we can we can uh change the ceiling height by clicking each of the ceiling uh and then uh instantly you can change its level here under the property tab so type in here three meters or any height you want 
if you wonder na hindi siya na select i- pag idrag niyo yung mouse uh, dito sa ceiling kasi for this one pag nakakita kayo ng x that means room siya so hindi siya ceiling so drag your mouse to one of the walls dun sa inside tapos uh, hit tab until mag-highlight yung ceiling na yan. So, ganun mag-select ng isang element kapag mahirap siyang i-select or hanapin. Okay? Tapos, you can change them here under the properties. Change that yung height to 3 meters. Okay? So, just uh, you can do that to all the ceilings. So, if my ceiling kayo na mas mababa, you can just um, put in a specific level or height okay so let's say for example we're done with that that was uh, let's go back to 3d that was let's see if they are there so basically the ceilings are there right so for this one it looks like uh, it's too low so let's uh, edit that to three meters that was for this one uh, if you want to to create a sloped ceiling we can actually do that but uh, for in, like for this uh, like for this one, uh, you want the ceiling to go along the roof slope. We can actually do that. So let's go back to level one under ceiling plan. That was let's select this that, that certain ceiling. That was edit boundary. Um, he click nyo lang yung lowest portion of that ceiling, which is this one. That was click nyo lang yung define slope. Then edit this one by clicking this number and uh, type in there the, the the slope you want or you wish to have for example 30 degrees since you slope ng roof natin is 30 degrees if you click on that nandito siya 30 degrees so uh, saan na ba yun? so ayun so yung slope ng roof ng ceiling is naging 30 degrees na siya like for that one and also for this one we can uh, do that at the same time for the kitchen so double click on that tapos click nyo lang yung isang line tapos define slope then uh, add the value 30 degrees so automatically may slope ceiling na tayo alright for us to to see how it looks uh, let's create a uh, section cut here that was double click on this arrow para ma create a view. So basically, this is the ceilings that we made or the slope ceilings. If we click on one of these ceilings, um, we set this ceiling to 3000, right? So um, basically, yung 3000 ay naka base from the floor level to the lowest portion of the ceiling. Hindi siya dito sa taas. So kaya kung saan yung lowest portion of that ceiling uh, dapat dun ka mag recreate ng uh, defined slope. All right. So I think that's pretty much it and uh on the next videos uh we will be discussing on how to to create the foundation walls and and uh footing uh just to see kung bakit nasa loob ang learn that though so that's going to be our next topic okay all right and i hope you guys have uh, learned that quick i'll be putting the links on the description box below for you to to go back to the topics that you want to refresh okay so i'll see you guys on the next video have a great time